Hello, this is Cody, also known as Codes. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go over Idle Heroes. Now, Idle Heroes is a pretty fun game. One, because you don't have to play it all the time. It actually plays on its own, so it's really fun. As a disclaimer, I do not own the rights to this game. Just play it for fun right now. Hope to, once I get enough subscribers. So as you can see, this is what's going on. You need to turn the volume on. The volume is not too bad. Sounds on. Do some claim rewards. 100 gems, come over to the click on, some more gems, now gems are like money, so that's always good to get free gems. This castle in the sky is pretty cool, it used to be something different, but now they changed it, so I'm not really sure how they work it. Then here's some like mini boss. And free rewards. It's pretty nice though. So what you want to do is come to this guy first. And hopefully have some strong heroes. Hit the smash button. Go max out. Which is like 13 flowers. So it's just like all your moves. Hit OK. These are the guys I'm working with. That one right there with the orange. He's a 10 star. The other one. It's like a demon, she's a 9 star, and it goes down from there. So let's attack. Let's see, I got some rewards. Some building stone material, it's pretty good. Some gems and coins. And now, since I have like 6 left, I can hit the smash button on the side. Yes, I want to smash. Use the same team. And there we go. Now all of them are killed out. So come out, come out. Go to the coin. Get a free one. Then buy one. Because you need to collect at least two for the quests, also known as missions. Check out the daily inbox, what they mailed us. See, this is what we get for killing the boss. This is a mission going on. Some more stuff. This is like battle point coins. They're pretty good for like either buying more heroes or uh, special items. Come to the friends. Collect hearts, send hearts. It's part of the mission. Come over here. Now these right here, the stages are pretty good. They give you a lot of rewards. And I mean a lot of rewards. These are really good. Now what I found out if you hit quick explore, you get to send out like an automatic good player. Um, normally someone from your clan or friendship or friend thing. So, that's really useful. What I would like them to do is maybe add one more of those food bars so you can like hit stage 3 and just be collecting. But hopefully in due time, they'll get the memo or message. Here's uh, some quick rewards. Okay, this is a complete reward. So what you do is col um, collect them, so you can finish the task. You need to do at least two, and then we got some that you know are under an hour, which you get some for free. So you don't have to spend no gems. Now gems are like money, so it's best to hold off on that.
Now most of the stuff I'm doing is pretty much the stuff that needs to be done for the quest. This is where you get to come to summon heroes. This one is pretty much basic, so it's like one to two stars, which are considered food. Now these ones summon, you know, up to five stars, which are better. And then friends do the same thing between food to five stars. I have a hundred, so let's see what we get. Now with the humming hundred hearts, you get to summon ten. And right there you can see is a four star. Which is pretty good. Use them to make more uh, five stars and then use them as food. Most of these other guys are either food or just get away. So I'll come over to the alternate al <laughs> altar and sacrifice them. Now the three stars I'm getting rid of, at least these ones, because I don't need them. And I'll show you why. See, now these are what you need to get. Especially the green. The green's like for leveling up heroes. The stones are for like buying new heroes. And this one is for leveling up as well. So here's the stones. I got 2,000. It's not too bad. And then here's some of the heroes I could summon up. There's the heroes I have bought. So I'm kind of working on these guys. The 3,000 stones. Now the reason why I don't need to worry about those 3 stars is because I come to the bag. Shows me all the items I got. Shows me all the puzzle pieces. Now these are all the heroes I can summon. Now most of them I'm just kind of keeping them there for food. Or to level up other heroes. I got some pretty good ones too. Five stars. And the reason why I don't summon those right away. Is because there are some missions where you need to summon every color or every variety of your heroes. We'll go into that in just a minute. In the marketplace. And buy some more scrolls. These are good if you got enough coin or gems because these summon the better heroes. This is good for spinning the wheel of fortune which is also missions you want to do when it comes up. This is for summoning more heroes at a different the special tree which also part of a mission that comes up. This, this is just for fighting which is good to have so you can like get rewards. This is for summoning heroes. This is for leveling up. And you want as much as possible. Like, honestly, if I had more uh, coins over 30 mil or uh, 100 mil at least, I would probably buy that 30 mil. Because then it's 20 mil right off the bat to leveling up heroes. And that's what you need to get. But I don't need to level up anybody right now, so. We're going to go to the Wishing Fountain, go to this easy one, and do two spins for the mission request. That's pretty good. Items like that are good either for using the power of other items or equipping. If you're a low level, it's best to kind of equip these ones sort of fast. So it'll help your character be able to attack more. Now, I don't have a whole lot of... Uh, stone things coins for these guys because these are special kinds of coins so the more times you spin the better the coins you get and this one is a special one but it's best to wait until you get like 10 come to the campaign get a free loot this kind of gives you more items which is really good. I'm pretty high up, so basically almost at 120, and that's just the level f for my character, like myself. Collect. Now you want to do this five times, and you gotta waste a couple seconds, you know, for each collect. So it's not too bad. There we go. 
did five. Okay. Now some of these characters have skins. These are the skins. The ones obviously that have the check mark are being used. The other ones are not. Can either be forced into making better skins, like you can somehow use them to combine. This is what they have in the beginning, the soccer ball player. As you can see, the skins help out with techniques. 3% health, 3% attack, 2% crit. Gives them a buff, which is really good. Puzzle pieces, these give you more skins. And then this is the booklet that kind of just tells you all about them. Obviously, um, the gold ones, like this one, are like top rank legendary skins. He's a new fighter. Skin fusion, you come over here, you collect about five, and then hit forge, and that'll give you a new skin, which I'm not trying to waste right now, so. Arena, you're supposed to do this a couple of times. Um, the coins that they gave you in the beginning, right here. You can summon heroes, you can get some of these little soul gem things. Then, uh, you come over here, and these are like, uh, kind of like a reward poster thing for your skin, or for your uh, title. Except for this, this helps you to, like, switch out players, you know, to with other players, so you can trade them for something better. We'll get into that some other time. Now this one I was trying to get for my uh, avatar. Oh, that's what they are. The avatar skins. So, do a quick battle. See, so yeah, as you can tell right here in the corner, that says 118. That's my avatar. He's basically my 10 star. Come down here to the lowest one. Do a quick battle. And win. Now, I'm not going to win all the time because, you know, sometimes people have better defense or better monsters. But since I have my team set up pretty nice, I'm, like, right there. See? Lost. But you can still always draw three, so you, you at least get rewards, which is good. And then, like, if you do a lot of those, like, keep on battling, you get missions, you come over here, and you do these, you get, like, uh, missions right here, cool events. So this kind of tells you what's going on. This is, you know, it's on sale, but it's really not on sale, because it costs actual money. This is sometimes useful, but, you know, only if you really need to, like, advance. If not, you know, you just play for fun. I try not to put too much money on this game because this is really just kind of a fun go around game. As you can see, they got this little imp mission going on. It only lasts for two more hours, so let's quickly use up the dice rolls. Alright, that didn't go far. Now I can hit this and let him just kind of walk around, which is cute. Or I can, like, hit to skip and just have him quickly go either way he's going to go getting lucky dice is really good because then you get like special higher rolls and stuff and also a better chance on things oh ho 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 just as I said. Okay, let's use lucky dice. <laughs> that was luck. Alright. Hit the six. Automatic six. That is good. That is good. I guess I should have hit five so I can came right here to the Wissing Hut and got another roll. That is my bad. So here's some more heroes to summon. The light and dark normally cost gems to sacrifice. You sacrifice two of these guys that you don't need. As you can see, I have plenty of five stars. And then you say submit and confirm. And then you use 200 gems, which I do not want to waste. Because that's a lot for that little thing. Now this is kind of useful. If 
I have enough of these guys. I have enough of these ones right here. Five stars, because you only need one. But I only have, you know, three of these guys, so. We'll try and summon up one of these in just a sec. These are ghosts. I have no materials for that. That's not good. Leaf. I only have two of those. That's somewhere okay. Demons. Now these are all the five stars I have. I do not have a whole lot of four stars to kind of use. That's not good. These equip or increase the weapons or your gear, which is really good. But we're not trying to use uh, gems right now. And plus 40 mil just to craft that. Yeah, let's wait till I get more <laughs> coinage. Here's some more pay things. You can kind of complete these missions and the first two that are not like hidden you basically get now these are the fighting missions if you do these these are the rewards you get which is really good you know a lot of gems plus summoning stones and fancy wishing this is like the quest now these ones are kind of hard to do I'm more likely to finish up the four star and kind of get halfway done with the five star. I never finish the six star. I might start one or two if I'm lucky, and I never have done a seven star. I'm not sure how to even do those. Here's some leveling up rewards. So, like if you level up monsters, or I mean heroes, this is what you get. Quick battles, um, stages. I never gotten past stage two. So. What I'm going to do is a battle, as you can see I kind of fought him before, hit smash, hit the max number, and let it rip. And then see how much damage I did. Not that much. But at least I got some rewards back from it. This is pretty nice, doing stages and stuff. I can complete these real easy. This is the promo code, it's free. Just put this in over here and you'll get some free rewards. I think it's like uh, 10 scrolls, which is good. So it's like a free 10 summons. And then um, you got some more purchasing things and some more purchasing things. This is basically just where you come to, you know, level up with money but you don't have to let's see if this even works no because i already used it so that makes sense come to the quest now you can see i'm pretty much almost done i got one left and that is to win these guys I got one too so hit this real fast automatic win ooh that's always good when you get a lot of those because it normally just gives you those and that's you know help increasing your heroes these are you know summoning hero stones which is really good you want as many as possible. And now it's all done. So now I can collect the big one for completing all the little ones. And the monsters are pretty good. Um, you can use these for battles and team ups. They have their own abilities that contribute to the team. Right now I have the fox and she or he is pretty much almost maxed out so like the skill set is definitely maxed out max maxed 
maxed, maxed, and then I'm leveling up the room.